Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of March. I decided to use my Lenormand deck again. It's a very popular deck and I just love working with it. Um, so I would like to um, use that again this month. I'm going to pull one card also from Dorian Virtue's uh, Angel Romance deck. Uh, if you're new to the channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, which is a heightened form of empathy. I read people. And that is where I shine through um, feelings. I can feel past, present, and future, and I can pick up people's energies. So I do energy readings, and then I also do a tarot spread. Um, so if you're having trouble and, and you're just not sure where things are in your relationship, I um, can tap into other people's feelings. I can feel what they feel and through feelings I can feel where things are going to go. All right. Um, if you're interested in a private reading from me, please just email me. My email address will be at the bottom of the link and I will send you all the info on how to get a private reading. All right. It's as simple as that. I don't have a lot of stuff as in blogs and websites and things like that. I have an email address and a YouTube channel and that is it. All right. Okay. So, uh, the very I'm going to flip the cards over now. I pre-shuffled. And the very first card here is the um, uh, coffin. And the coffin, typically, it shows uh, an important transformation. It's kind of, whoops, it's kind of like death in a way. You can see the fellow here laying down. And um, uh, it's either an end in a relationship, a change in, of residence, or retirement, or a completion of some sort of a cycle. Being that this is a love reading, um, I'm going to say that this is an end, end of a cycle or a transformation of a relationship. All right. These changes aren't always in negative. They can be positive. All right. Maybe you're done. You're tired of um, a relationship the way it's been and this cycle is ending. All right. Um, with regards to love, it can talk about um, a grief or troubled grief or a troubled relationship. All right. Um, so now these cards are typically red in pairs. So we, the next card is the anchor. So now we have the anchor and the coffin together. So there's the anchor. Um, together, this talks about security and longing for something. Okay. So here we have the end of a cycle. All right. There's going to be changes. It's a transition. You're longing for something. I don't know if you're longing for a new relationship or longing for security or whatever the case is. Typically, the... I keep knocking this. Okay. Typically, the um, anchor talks about um, someone reaching a destination. And when you get to the destination, um, all everyone has survived. All right? And that anchor kind of anchors you to wherever you are. And now it's to kind of... It's, it's safe enough to rest and restock and have some fun. It's kind of like um, uh, recharging. All right. Um, it means also in love that it could be uh, uh, a stable, a long-term stable relationship. So here we have this change of something ending, something new is coming. There's a transition here, a death, a, a cycle is over. Time to to kind of you got through this okay you know time to go ashore and have a little bit of fun and um time for some change there's something coming here and you've survived it all right and you can expect a long-term stable love relationship to come all right okay so the next one here we have is bouquet very nice card i like the bouquet and the bouquet is something positive. It's something that brings a smile to your face and something that, something to make you say thank you. And that a sign that everything is good when the bouquet shows up. And uh, in love, it talks about um, something nice is going on. And in love, it talks about something really great occurring. All right, so it's very nice here. End of a cycle. All right, here's the end of the cycle. All right, end of um, 
uh, perhaps a relationship and you're longing, you know, it's time, it's like safe now to go ahead, have a little bit of fun. Something better is coming along. All right. And here it is, the bouquet. Something's going to be putting a smile on your face. All right. That everything is good when this shows up. Everything you've gone through has been worth it because it, this bouquet says it's going to be good. All right. Um, something really great is going to occur for you, perhaps for the month of, of March. And the pull card that I pulled is worth waiting for. Divine timing is our work in your love life. So this card here is saying that whatever you've gone through, whatever you've gone through here, with these three cards, this transition, this ending, all right, it was all worth it because it was it's worth waiting for, the, but it's just divine timing and it's at work in your love life. All right. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I want to thank you all for subscribing, for liking my videos, for all of your comments. I truly adore and love each and every one of you. And I hope that these readings bring you some sort of answers um, or they resonate with you in some way. All right. Like again, um, if you're interested in a private reading, please email me and I will send you all the details. I am a, I read people's energy first and tarot cards second. So I'm really good at, at reading people's energies. I really have no issues with that. I would say my, my, uh, my um, uh, accuracy rate is pretty high with that. So, all right, everybody, have a great March. And I hope you have a wonderful uh, month of springtime and love coming your way. All right, bye-bye.